Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. So I'm right now in an app called AZ Screen Recorder. It's a great app for Android, probably for other um, operating systems as well, I'm not sure. But uh, this video is going to be a little different topic about governments. And just uh, because there's a few questions that I had over the years about my anarchism and nonconformity and uh, how we're going to transition to that world we really want to live in. So first I'll let people know that governments cannot exist. Governments, police force, any of these, you know, cities, they don't exist in a utopian world. Now, some people also say that utopian world will never take form. It will never manifest because people are just violent and that's just how it is. And it's not true because people can change. People can awaken and we can get to that world if we just envision it and we actually practice living in a non-violent way every single day. And it starts, of course, with our food choices. Uh, particularly to animal foods, so any type of animal foods, okay? So, people have talked to me about this before, and I want to clar clarify things and to address these uh, questions that people have. Um, my family and other people have also told, uh, asked me about this. Well, you know, we need to work in jobs, and we need this, and we need that, and it's like, so let me clear this up so it's kind of difficult i mean i write better than i actually speak uh, but uh, i'll try to address this as best as i can so we need to realize that once we start to see the world in a different way we start to view the whole entire society um, completely different we start to realize, okay, first we know that non-human animals are not property, they're not things to be used, they're not food items. Nothing that comes from them is to be eaten, they're to be left alone, okay? Let nature take its course. Now, once we become vegan and we start to understand about de-veganism and about eden fruitarianism, then we start to realize that we need to minimize and to become minimalists and to really to stop buying things we really don't need and to realize that yes we need to start to become fully self-sustainable start to grow most or all of our food because again you know governments and I'm, not, I'm not saying this as a as a bad thing governments are not all bad they're not all evil and there are people in governmental uh agencies that are trying to do good okay but a lot of them, almost virtually all of them, are eating animal foods. And they're, unfortunately, in this whole scheme. I mean, look at wars going on, environmental devastations. I mean, if governments were really, truly good overall, then we would be living in the Garden of Eden, in a utopian world. And we're not. Also, in that type of world, there most likely will not be a hierarchy or governmental systems in place. So... Um, really understanding that once we start to become minimalists, we start to buy less, then we will start to work less in jobs, and we will start to, you know, do our own thing. We will start to grow our own food once we become fully self-sustainable, which may take years or even decades to to uh, become fully self-sustainable. We still, unfortunately, need to rely on governments and their help and support. Even though we are anarchists and we don't want their support, we may still need, you know, I mean, we still need a monetary system, unfortunately, because if we go to local farmer's market or to the supermarket to get our groceries, unfortunately, we need to pay with, with some kind of currency, which is the monetary system now. And now we know it, which comes from a centralized system. So I'm not saying that we shouldn't be trying to get some support from them or to get their help they do good but overall we need to eradicate them as when we become more self-sufficient okay 
and we don't have time. I mean, this society that we're living in just does not work any longer. We should be striving to become fully self-sustainable as much as we possibly can. But in this world where, you know, the lockdown and the COVID-19, it's not helping much. It's not helping much. For some people, yeah, it's terrific. But for many people, most people, it's not terrific. For the 90 or 95% of the population of the world, it's not terrific. You know, it's not terrific at all. And though there are a lot of people out there that are striving to uh, do some kind of online business or some kind of business, uh, their own business, that's great. You know, that's great. But for many people, it's it's hard to do that. It's really hard. I mean, they can't. Some most a lot of people can't can't even afford the internet. Never mind uh, <laughs> creating a business online. So. I mean, there are people that are living on like a few dollars a month, if that. Some people, a few dollars a day. So, really, you know. And I'm not in any better situation than myself. You know, it's very difficult. I'm grateful for all the people who have given me donations and for the government helping me. But if the government were really here to overall to help the world, we would be living in a Garden of Eden. We would be living in that kind of system, in a system that doesn't oppress anyone. And unfortunately, it just cannot happen if we're continuing to consume animals and, and their secretions and anything that comes from animals and seeing them as property, seeing them as things to be used. Non-human animals are not here to be used. We're here. They're here to... Well, they're not here for anything, actually. We're not here to domesticate any anyone. Um... And that's what we've done with pets, with farmed animals. We've domesticated them over the eons of time. And it's time that we get away from that. It's time that we stop breeding animals. It's time that we stop seeing them as property. It's time that we stop seeing them uh, for food or for anything. Because it's not going to get any better in this world if we don't, if we continue seeing them as, oh, you know, uh, it's, I, I feel, uh, you know, I find their flesh and their secretions to be tasty it's like stop with that already so governments are still needed because unfortunately if everyone went vegan today then of course we wouldn't need governments most likely because everybody we would be helping and caring for one another and trying to uh, do what we can to make ends meet to grow all our own food and to help others that don't have uh, that doesn't have food or clothing or shelter or anything like that. We need to help one another. That's the thing. And unfortunately, in this crazy world, we still need to, you know, pay for things with 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 some kind of currency. That's just how it is because in this world, everybody just needs that because they're so materialistic. They keep they keep on buying things and keep on buying things. The only thing I want to buy is food. I don't need anything else, really. Just food and whatever I need in order to share this message around the world. I mean, yeah, there, you know, there needs to be companies and corporations. I mean, look, my computer is made by a corporation, a mega corporation. Um, currently, I have a HP computer. Uh, I'm not promoting them or anything, but I'm not happy. I mean, I wish we lived in the Garden of Eden. I wish we didn't have to use money. I wish we were all self-sustainable and we were living in close-knit communities. I mean, it's just, that's not how it is right now. And unfortunately, we have to slowly transition away from the society because society really does not work any longer. We've tried reforming, we've tried voting, and we're still getting the same politician. We're still getting this hierarchy system. We're still, we still have this, uh, have so much violence and suffering in the world. It's, there's not much change happening for the, nothing's really happening. I mean, I, what we need to do is create a completely new system. Doesn't mean we're not going to still somewhat need the current system in order to survive we do we need the money we need money we need 
you know, visa cards and banks and everything in order to survive, that doesn't mean that these systems are not evil. Um, unfortunately, I'm supporting these systems. Uh, you know, uh, everything <laughs> I basically own, all the physical items that I own, are basically, you know, corporation made. The spoons that I have, the mouse that I have, the computer that I have, the pouch that I have, the headphones that I wear, all made by corporations. But without these things, I wouldn't be able to share this message to be able to do the things I need to do in order to share this, these videos with you, with people. And unfortunately, it's, you know, every system out there has to do some good in order for them to survive. They cannot be all evil. The whole governments cannot be entirely evil. They do some good in the world. They do. Um, you, the UN or the World Health Organization or whoever does some good. But overall, for the majority part, they're not good. And we have to somehow transition to that world we really want to live in, which is a utopian world. Some kind of world where we're just living in perfect harmony with all life. Now, there may be... May not be such a thing as perfection, but in a better world for sure. And once we do get to that world, maybe there won't be any violence or any suffering or anything of that sort. Maybe there will be perfection. Who knows? We're not, we're not living in that world right now. But to get to that world, to strive to get to that world, is what we or to that community that we really want to live in and be part of. Because I, I feel that once more and more people become vegans and stop supporting government as much as we possibly can, and of course the monetary system, then, then um, because at any moment, the, these elite people, whoever they are, the shadow governments, the cabal, whatever you want to call them, they could take all of this away from us. They could take all the supermarkets away from us. They could... Uh, mandate so much more vaccines and microchipping and who knows what and again i'm not saying that some of what these people are doing are, are not good i mean government does a lot of good for us but a lot of harm as well and they're working with the mainstream media and corporate mega corporations to i don't know what they're doing i don't know what their objective is i don't know why they're con dividing and conquering I don't know what all this is all, all, all about. I have no idea. I'm here to question it and to un try to understand what's going on here. Why are they doing all this? Why are they conquering everybody? I mean, why are they making more and more people poor and poor? Because it just doesn't make any sense. I mean, I understand it's, it's, they're here to confuse and to control us and to enslave us and all this, but what for? It just doesn't make any sense. When people don't have money anymore and they can't afford to buy things, then who else are they going to enslave and you know and exploit? But as I I I, I know that, and it's hard to <laughs> my feelings are just kind of suppressed now. But what I'm trying to say is, as long as we continue to enslave animals, to see non-human animals as property. We're never going to get out of this mess. And until we start to question everything in our society and start to try to create another world we really want to live in, we're going to continue having the problems that we do. It's not going to get any better. It's going to get worse if we don't do something, if we don't create alternative communities. And these com alternative communities are veganic homesteading communities, not using animals for anything. We can grow food veganically without any animal inputs, without any manure, blood meal, bone meal, fish meal, feather meal, anything like that. Without using animals for anything. No matter how idyllic the situation may be or how we treat these animals, it, it can never, it can never be. In the Garden of Eden, there was no animal sacrifices or any animal uh, use or property status of animals or animal consumption of any sort or domestication of animals, or, or slavery of humans, or, 
you know, the destruction of the um, environment or anything like that. So we're, when we don't fully understand, we're not fully awakened, we don't have a clue what's going on. We think governments are helping us and we need to wear these masks and we need to do all... Ah, what we need to do is we need to slowly transition away from the way we're living currently with the monetary system and through governments. Governments, of course, employing the police force and all that kind of stuff. We need to get away slowly and slowly. What doesn't mean we're still not going to use money in the meantime in the next few years or a decade or so. We're still going to use money. We're still going to be dependent on our electronic devices in order to get us, you know, get this message across to other people. So my whole aim is that, yeah, I don't mind if government gives me a billion dollars or whatever amount of money if the government gives me a few thousand dollars. I, I was on government support before in the past. I'm not ashamed to say that. I was in, I was in uh, prison and I'm not ashamed to say that. I was there because, seriously, a person of my... Uh, uh, I shouldn't say enlightenment because I, I don't really like that word, but a person of my knowledge of the, the, in truth, I'm not saying that I have all the answers and I, you know, and I have all the truth. No, not at all. And now it's actually raining very hard here, so hopefully you can hear me still. But the whole idea is to understand that we need to transition away from this current life that we're living. No matter if we have all the money in the world and we think that this world, this society is beneficial or whatever, or maybe the governments are doing good or whatever it is, it's not working. The society we're living in currently is not working. No matter what people say, no matter what justifications people give, it is not working. At all. It is not working at all. I'm trying to get these ideas out to people in the masses of people. And it's just... I don't know how to do it any longer. You know, I see it clearly and people don't see it. It's like, you know, in order to be fully self-sustainable, we need to, in this society, we need to buy a land, which of course I don't have the money. We need to be fully self-sustainable, which takes sometimes years, takes finding the best possible land to do so, fertile soil and everything and air, arable land and then at the same time if you don't want to be part of the society the society forces you to be part of it i don't want anything to do with passports and driver's license and bank cards and all that kind of stuff but unfortunately we're, we're forced to do it we're forced to do it because we're not fully self-sustainable we were born in a society that requires you to have all these IDs and documents and everything, just in order to go over an imaginary fake country border with fake police clowns and costume, like, it just doesn't make any sense. I, I, the society today makes absolutely no sense. It only makes sense for the elite people who are trying to enslave us, trying to dominate, trying to acquire, I don't know what they're trying to acquire, um, but it just doesn't work any longer. And I've gone back and forth with uh, these ideas here, but basically we need to create a new world, a completely new world. And it's no longer working. The society is no longer working. We can justify and squirm rich which every way and we can continue eating animal foods and we can continue eating cooked foods and we can continue eating and justifying governments are needed and all this kind of stuff. But we need to band together as vegans and fruitarians. We need to band together and create alternative veganic homesteading communities. That's the only way out of this mess. But unfortunately, a lot of us are still stuck here because we're just... It just takes so many years to maybe even decades to get to the place that we really want to live in. Especially when it comes to this COVID-19, it's not making situations any better at all. Not. So that's what we really need to do. 
and let's get to that world and how do we do that i don't have the answers again i don't know how, how we're going to really do this all i know is that we have to come together as a human species and say no this is this is enough let's start eating healthy first of all which is raw veganism i don't care what people say this is the way forward to eat our fruits and vegetables okay to do some fasting to do all this kind of stuff once we start to understand the food part of it then we start to understand okay now what do we need to do from this point on now that we're raw vegans or striving to get there now what do we need to get to get forward in this in creating this uh, these alternative communities well first of all we need to understand these ideas first of all all these ideas the government is no longer needed we need people to come together to create these communities of love and compassion and caring for one another and to grow as much food as we possibly can and to stop these elite governmental police force invading our spaces that we you know it's okay to want to uh, have our own private property it's okay to have wanting to protect the earth to having our you know our whatever amount of space we are sovereign individual human beings with the right to a fair share of land plant foods seed and clean water so this is what we need to do this is what we need to do and what we need to do is we need to transition slowly there with the help of other like-minded people non-conformist and anarchist who want to eventually denounce everything you know they want to denounce everything in society so it's going to take a long time to get there if we don't band together and work together to create this kind of world i've been saying this in many of my videos that i have a forum right now and we can do that we can we can put it down we can discuss this together and start physically building these communities but until we start to non-comply with the system we have to not to comply with the system that is what we need to do we need to become healthy and not to comply with the system because it's the people that are not eating healthy that are the ones that are getting sick in hospitals and um that's my little rant here and what I have proposed. It's not going to be easy unless if people are still complicit to governments and to the whole COVID uh, thing that's happening, you know, and I'm not saying it's all a hoax or anything like that. Far from it. Maybe it is all true. Maybe it is not all true. But all we, all I know is once we start to understand these ideas or what really the, what really is going on, then we can start transitioning slowly to that world we really, really want to live in, which is all building alternative, veganic, homesteading communities. That's what it is. That's what it is. So let's create this community, band together as vegans and, and raw vegans, and continue to share this message with the world. Thank you for listening. Again, don't forget to like and share this video and to also subscribe to the YouTube channel and to my email newsletter and all of that stuff. I mean, eventually, even all this leaving, I mean, once we become fully sustainable and we create the communities we want around the world, many, 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 many communities, we're not going to need any of this stuff. We just forego it, living in nature being with one another and creating again the world we really want to create which is utopia so thank you for listening don't forget to get my books and share the message around with people and i love you all take care